Hey, this is Andreas from Nothing But Tablets. I've gotten a lot of questions both on the site and elsewhere about various difficulties that people are having in using uh, a game controller on Android, something that I've covered briefly in the past. And uh, I thought that I would do a video to sort of go through uh, different sort of error sources and see or explain what you might want to check if you're having trouble figuring this out. So first of all, uh, I'm going to do this with a with an Xbox 360 controller and um, a USB adapter and a uh, USB PC wireless adapter uh, that's normally used for connecting the Xbox 360 controller uh, to a PC. Uh, that's an official Microsoft product, although mine's a third-party version. So, um, in order to do basically get the three uh, 360 controller working as good as uh, as well as possible, you need to have um, USB B uh, Bluetooth joystick center installed and Joy to Touch, which is an add-on. You can find both of those in the Android market. And one of the first things you have to check is that in your um, language and input settings, uh, configure input meta methods, you have to make sure that USB Joy IME is active. This is basically a sort of basic activation to make sure that it even shows up in the list to choose keyboards. Uh, which I'll get to later, but this is basically make sure that this one right here is activated at all. And then I'm going to take my USB adapter. Um, this is the Xbox 360 um, uh, wireless adapter plugged into a USB adapter. So basically it's plugged into my Galaxy Tab 7.0 .7 plus via USB and nothing shows up because the OS itself doesn't know how to handle the um, wireless adapter but once I go into USB BT Joy Center it should ask me permission here to access the USB port which I gave it um, and then you need to make sure the IME is turned on. Basically, this is the keyboard selection, and I'm going to switch from Samsung key uh, keypad to USB IME. I'm going to turn on my Xbox 360 controller, select. Uh, basically, this is just in order to have more than one controller connected, but I'm going to connect this as controller one. Then when I move buttons, um, it shows up on the screen, depending on what uh, keys on a keyboard this is configured to. Then I'm going to turn on the touch service, which is slightly buggy at times. So uh, it's just a beta or an alpha or something like that. Um, I'm going to switch over to an emulator. And um, just going to sort of log in there because mine's already set up. So uh, right now I'm moving the analog stick and you can see that I have enough control to be uh, able to choose between walking and running and have very nice control as far as what direction he's going not just up down left and right which is what you do if you don't have the touch emulation enabled but in order to get this working right now I have in my settings first thing you need to make sure is that use input method right here use special input through uh, IMIE is enabled 
uh, in input settings, uh, you need to have a uh, well, virtual keypad that's for touch emulation, but you need to have that one activated. And right here, I have all other controls except for analog stick hidden. But in key mappings, I have enabled controller one and basically just gone through the list and uh, press one of these and then press the corresponding button on my controller to make all of that work and just go through the list like that and then that basically enables uh, all the buttons like uh, jumping and uh, crawling and uh, the C buttons and all of that but then you have the touch emulation and you can see in the left corner here that the analog stick is visible and assuming that uh, the touch feature works with your device you should be able to hold down four fingers on the screen for a short period of time and then this touch edit mode comes off uh, comes on and then basically uh, you can see I placed this button in the middle of the analog stick uh, you do that basically by uh, touching the analog stick in any direction doesn't matter and while holding it down you touch in the middle of the analog stick the virtual analog stick on the screen and that basically maps the analog stick to that part of the screen so that uh, when you move the analog stick uh, the tablet thinks that um, you're actually touching the screen in that area and this does require root just uh, connecting the controller in general doesn't require root but if you do want the touch emulation feature it does require root so to exit touch edit mode I'm going to hold down four fingers again and uh, go back to full screen actually first I'm going to go into settings uh, input settings and um, let's see hide controls and uh, yeah I'm actually holding it, my tablet with one hand now so I won't be able to do some amazing stunts but you can see that I have full range of control over the analog movements of Mario and uh, also various buttons and things like that um, if you basically follow all these steps and something ends up not working, uh, I basically can't help you. Uh, the software that's being used here is uh, definitely in alpha and beta stages. Uh, the developer is sort of patching as he gets information about the devices that won't work. I'm using a Galaxy Tab uh, 7 Plus, which means that I can attest to it working. Uh, it's also easy to root so if you have one of those this should be working fine uh, but uh, some error sources other than this may be if you have the official wireless adapter for the uh, 360 because um, my third party one might be drawing less power or something like that so that's a potential error source um, Perhaps you're running a ROM that doesn't support this USB feature or perhaps your tablet doesn't support the USB feature at all. There are so many different possible sources but basically these are the sort of actual settings you need to worry about. So if you have all of this set up correctly and it still doesn't work then it basically isn't your fault. But uh, from the few people I've helped to do this one by uh, one uh, a lot of the issues have been simply user error in setting it up because this isn't like installing Angry Birds you do have to jump between settings and uh, uh, spend a little bit of time to figure out how to get it working but it's definitely worth it in the end because right now I'm running around uh, Super Mario 64 on my Android tablet with an Xbox 360 controller and uh, uh, 
that's on a tablet that doesn't actually support USB game controllers uh, by default so definitely something to check out so um, hopefully that helps some people and uh, make sure to check out the original articles on getting various game controllers to work at nothingbuttablets.com we currently have posts uh, describing the procedure in brief for Xbox controllers, uh, PS3 6 axis controllers, V controllers, including the classic attachment, which is essentially like a GameCube controller, and um, also using a another Android device as a controller. So, again, thank you for watching and hope this helped.